chart update 16th April 2020. Reminder, Bill Gates Fox News 5th April analysis video presents comprehensive takedown of his talk. Replete with falsehoods, I think we've found one of the architects. A pretty straightforward chart update today as we put a lot into the Bill Gates takedown, so a combination of low energy and actually not much to say after that. I believe we've found one of the architects of this crisis, not much novelty in that, but his talk is so full of lies that it's difficult not to see the agenda. Scary to think he's taken at face value. Lucky him, not so lucky us. A quick peek at death rates. You don't want to be European and within Europe the disparity is astonishing. From Greece on down, everyone's doing Hubei or much better. But oh dear, it jumps above Greece to 10% to 16%. And we're ranked number three, basically third worst in the world. How wonderful. I don't even know how it's possible to have a 16% death rate. That's like 90-year-olds only. Does France have enough 90-year-olds to generate those numbers? I'd love to do a forensic data analysis for that lot, if only I had the time. New feature today, volume dotted line, aka new cases. When the line is declining, your past peak. Note, the UK illustrates the ambiguity of just reading the dotted line. New case growth analysis shows it's clearly past peak, but if the data doesn't respect that... Italy clearly past peak for a while now, bravo. UK still amazingly following my projected curve. The little Clark theory starts to look more convincing. OK, that's bizarre, but really zero impact from lockdown and it's backed by the new case growth analysis. The UK isn't quite violating the post-peak curve, though it's fighting it in terms of the magnitude of oscillations. It'll be intriguing to keep watching that. Norway well past peak, Sweden still climbing, but looks close to peak and no problem. I think two charts is as much as is easily readable, with four lines to consider, two totals, two new cases. That's uh, new cases over three days, which means we have a lot of charts. So I'll be going alphabetically rather than risk missing out, which I might do anyway. Oz and New Zealand continue to close, and you can see why it's time to introduce the daily, or over three days, new cases. The situation is reversed, where the total K curve gave us a much better early heads up than peak. Now, with so many countries at or past peak, the curves are flat, so the dailies are better for fine-tuned analysis. Meanwhile, stick one on the barbie and look at these two. Inseparable. Slight hint, be careful with your politicos. As in, if they push for vaccines, they're gates heads. If they're just glad you're safe, then maybe they were a bit jealous. Jealous? Try zealous and you did well out of it. Other Barbie, Barbados looks good, declining post peak. Ecuador, bit frisky, excellent near flat. Suspect that's a rebellious peak. Should see it coming down. Brazil, Mexico, Brazil definite curl over but still rising. The dailies look good, hopefully that's peak. Mexico rising and rising with curl over, not mature but not a threat and very low level. Croatia, Poland, Croatia looks great, smoothly declining cases. Wow, look at Poland, textbook curve, can't get much smoother than that and headed over the top for a nice result. Funny how the entire world is making UK, France and Spain look bad. Denmark, Iceland, Denmark that bizarre kink a while back and long slightly discomforting straight and accelerating line. But curling over at Hubei levels and look at that daily wham, dropping like a stone, nice job. Iceland really got hit bad, not Imperial College bad, but way above even Italy, may actually be worst in the world and the daily is reluctant to come down. Not happy after the pain, deserved to have it over. Not yet though. Finland, Greece, Finland no threat, should be below Hubei, looking ready to confirm peak. Greece, great job, one in the eye for the buggers in your northwest. France, no threat, but we will be joining Italy, maybe a bit better, lingering at peak. 
Belgium heading through Italy, but well curled over and also lingering at peak. Just need to ride it out in those cases. Germany, Spain, not the best choice of colours. Sorry, darker is Germany. Both solid over peak, finishing off. Mr. Gates had better hurry. His market is evaporating. Hungary, uh, okay, sorry about the spelling. On its own, no problem, still climbing, but curling over, nearing peak or past it, I'd suggest. Indian Israel and more poor colour choices. Oh well. Israel a surprisingly poor result. Compact nation perhaps. Still better than the Western Europeans. Looks post peak. Settle below Italy. India late entry. Still climbing but a hundred times less infected than Hubei. Could be a while there. Spot the deliberate mistake. Back in a second. Ah, better. Overcropped, lost the labels and dates. Ireland obscured a bit, but you can see it shooting straight, sick, accelerating through Italy, and the cases have accelerated after what looks like a nice smooth peak. I'd want a good explanation for that. It's too late past Hubei and going through Italy for this kind of shenanigans. Should have been plain sailing. Look how well it matches Portugal until that surge. Given all the nonsense going around, I couldn't exclude foul play with the data. Again, deaths are easy to mess with, but if they start messing with cases, we're blind. Might take a look at your daily new cases growth, as I did for UK, and you might want to just check your politics. Portugal looks great, coming over peak. Iran, Iraq. Iran, not bad. Hubei levels flirting with an extended peak. Really want to see the dailies coming down so it can finish off. Iraq, look at that. Yet another target of the West doing great. Very low level. Dailies coming down. Karma, huh? Malaysia, great. Flirting with extended peak. Japan, coming off acceleration. Still low level, but doesn't want to really curl over. Compact countries. Singapore, I think, similar problem. Might take a peek at that. Malta and Netherlands both look fine. Malta headed more for just above Hubei. Netherlands for Italy. Both riding extended peak from the look of things, but nice down ticks. Norway, Sweden, we did earlier. Philippines, Singapore. Philippines fine, flirting as it comes over peak. Singapore, like Japan, headed the wrong way and accelerating. Russia, Turkey. Turkey looks good. That may reach Italy. Coming to peak just over maybe. Russia, ouch. Not a terrible level to be climbing hard from, but nicer if it wasn't climbing hard. Both totals and dailies headed hard up. Can I say, with all the blathering and beating from the West, that nobody seems to be ashamed or hiding what's happening, except, of course, the UK, where they've been lying from the beginning. Something to bear in mind next time someone starts ranting. And I forgot to plug in the power cord, so we get to do the next few slides again. Algeria, South Africa, fine. Excellent flirting with peak. Algeria, one of the few non-Western countries to have a third world Western death rate. Irony. Switzerland, Austria, fine. Nice downhill schuss in the dailies. Taiwan, Vietnam, wow, look at those minuscule levels disappearing downhill. Did anyone think to send an ambassador to ask how they did it? Didn't think so. Thailand, Korea, South Korea, look at Korea, finished even before Italy, the first Western nation, started to surge. Thailand barely reached the super lockdown Chinese provinces. We've been bleating, they've been winning. UAE, Pakistan, Pakistan fine, flirting with peak at a low level. UAE, not good, a rare case of someone joining the Westerners. Really something to learn there. Gates is going to have a tough sell outside Europe. USA, Canada, last slide. And wow, will you look at that. USA, curling over in the dailies, past peak. Anyone tell you that? Bravo, go USA. What the hell? Let's cheer for the USA. And Canada, waiting on its American buddy. You can go first, Canada. It is allowed, but yeah. Send a copy to Trudeau and Trump. 
So basically a lot of good news. Looks like Gates' profit margin just hit the floor. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Get the word out. Vaccines not welcome here. Be kind of fun if he actually lost money on his $100 million philanthropy. Crocodile tears here, that's for sure. I'm still Andrew May, the 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. Right now I'm tired, but maybe, just maybe, we can do some good. We, the UK, seem to be one of the last holdouts for self-immolation. Oh well, it's been real. Take care, have fun. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrewamather.com. Either should get to me.